Hello and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. Let's listen to Stinky Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a poor young boy called Jack. He lived with his mom in a tumble-down house in the country. Jack was so lazy, he couldn't be bothered to wash. He began to smell so bad that his mom made him sleep in the cow shed. Daisy the cow was not impressed. One day, Jack's mom said, We've got no money left. Go and sell Daisy and make sure you get a good price for her. But Jack sold the cow for just a handful of beans. His mom was so cross that she threw them out of the window. Overnight, the beans grew into a huge beanstalk. The next day, mom sent Jack up the beanstalk to pick some beans. Jack climbed higher and higher until he came to a giant's castle. Jack was hungry, so he knocked on the door and asked a kind-looking lady for some food. She let Jack in and gave him a slice of sausage, but then, boom, 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 huge footsteps were heading their way. Hide before my husband comes, said the lady. So Jack climbed into an empty teapot. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the pong of an Englishman, be he alive or be he dead. I wish he was somewhere else instead, roared the giant. Nonsense, said his wife. I can't smell anything. Eat your sausages. After lunch, the giant started counting his money. Jack had never seen so many gold coins. Soon, the giant fell asleep. Jack crept out and picked up a gold coin that had fallen on the floor. He hurried back down the beanstalk and gave it to his mom. Good boy, she gasped. This will pay to mend our house. Now please, Jack, have a bath. But Jack shot back up the beanstalk. Back at the castle, the giant's wife let Jack back in. But then, fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the pong of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I wish he was somewhere else instead. Poo, roared the giant. Nonsense, said his wife. It must be a block drain. Now eat your sausages. After supper, the giant fetched a little goose and popped it on the table. Lay, goose lay, he cried. Honk, plop, but the goose laid a solid gold egg. The giant soon fell asleep. Jack quickly pinched the golden egg and climbed back down the beanstalk. Jack used the egg to buy back Daisy the cow, but he still wouldn't take a bath. You're not coming into my lovely house until you're clean, said Jack's mom. Daisy wouldn't let him in the cow shed either. So Jack had to sleep outside on a pile of leaves. The next day, stiff and achy, Jack climbed back up the beanstalk. Jack had just sneaked back into the castle when, Fee, fi, fo, fo, I smell the pong of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead. I wish he was somewhere else instead. Poo, roared the giant. Nonsense, my dear, said his wife. Perhaps you've trodden in something. Now, eat your sausages. That evening, the giant fell asleep, listening to a magical singing harp. When Jack jumped out of his hiding place, the harp shouted, Poo, what a pong, and woke up the giant. The giant grabbed Jack in his huge, hairy fist. Please don't eat me, cried Jack. <gasps> I don't want to eat you, gasped the giant. I like having visitors, but only ones who don't stink have a bath now. Jack ran to the bathroom. The giant's wife filled a tub with hot, soapy water. And at last, Jack had a bath. He even washed his hair. He felt wonderful. And he smelt delightful. Jack enjoyed himself and decided that washing was fun. The giant invited Jack to stay for supper. I'm sorry I took your gold, said Jack. I gave it to my mom to fix our house and buy back our cow. Oh, that's okay, said the giant kindly. Now eat your sausage. Do you have sausages for every meal? asked Jack. Yes sighed the giant. I'd give a big bag of gold for some fresh vegetables. Really? said Jack. Um, do you like beans? The 
end. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story of Jack and the Beanstalk. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.